Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today I'm going to be teaching you how I edit my ribbons onto my horses for my Instagram posts. So I like to do these photos um, after I finish a show, a live show, and these ribbons are a lot of fun to collect and things like that. And I'll even show you what my ribbon board looks like. Um, so that way you can maybe create your own ribbon board if you decide to do live showing. So the first step we need to do is we need to take a photograph, of course. We need to take a photograph of the horse and the rider. So since this horse is a chestnut sort of orangey tone, I like to use complementary colors within the color wheel to kind of find a, a jump or a set of jumps that will be contrasting with that horse so that way they don't blend in. Um, if I were to pick this uh, red horse with this red jump over here, if we actually go ahead and do that right now, um, you might notice that I kind of get washed out with this, with this red color here. Um, so I like to have a lot of contrast with the jump color that I choose. So we're gonna go back over here to the blue. I do have a couple of tips for taking the photo in the first place. I love using my trackiners because they have a nice little eating animation here um, that can be very useful. So let's see, I like to dismount on my horse and then I'm gonna crouch and this is gonna reset my character animation when the horse comes up like that. That's when I come up with my character. And then I'm going to use my left mouse button to drag the frame up and down or left and right. And then the right mouse, right mouse button is going to rotate. So I like to try to keep it as straight as possible. And then I take a look at the field of view here. So the field of view is what brings the camera closer or further away to the character. So here I like to get as close as I possibly can with the field of view slider bar. So usually almost all the way to the left. And I try to make sure I don't crop out my horse's ears or my character's toes or anything like that. So you could leave it at this. I do happen to have reshade. This is not gonna be a reshade tutorial, but you could leave it at this. If you need to zoom in any more, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll up or scroll down. And I think I'm just going to center it a little bit more right there. But yeah, so the crouching animation that I did earlier, that is really helpful to reset the character animation. So that way the character is looking forward. So at this point, I'm ready to take my picture. I could leave it at this and just take the picture here right now. But I happen to have reshade. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my reshade preset. Okay, so there is my reshade preset. This is not a tutorial on how to use reshade. There are some tutorials out there that are very helpful on that. I might actually do a tutorial on it, but yeah, I've turned on my reshade preset. I set my keybind to control E to turn on my preset and then turn it off and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this picture right here and we can go ahead and escape out of photo mode. Uh, let's turn off this pre-shade, uh, pre preset. <laughs> All right, so at this point, once I think I'm confident with my picture, I'm actually gonna go ahead and log off of the game here. All right, so the next step, now that we have our picture, I've loaded it up just in my normal default photos app here. We are going to crop it. So in this particular photo app, we're gonna hit edit image right here. Okay, and then we hit aspect ratio square. Okay, for now, we're gonna make sure that this horse fits exactly inside the square here. On my Instagram, uh, these type of posts, I like to use a square. So let's see, you can hit save a copy or you can just hit save. I'm gonna hit save for now. Okay, so now this photo is ready to be opened within a program called GIMP. That's what I particularly use. I believe other art programs can do the same thing, but GIMP is 100% free and it's nice to use on a computer. So we're going to right click on this picture and then I usually hit, uh, where is it? Open with, we're going to hit open with GIMP, click OK. Now that we have our photo loaded into GIMP, we need to make sure we are able to get our ribbon to actually add onto the horse's face. So usually what happens in these live showing organizations that I participate in, you have to send a DM on Discord to the organization owner to obtain your ribbon. So as you can see right here, uh, this is from JNSA, Jorvik National Showing Association, and I asked for the first place ribbon. So here we go, she sent it to me. So I'm gonna left click on it. Now I right click, hit save image as, and then I just hit save here because this is gonna go to my downloads folder. Okay, we hit save and it downloaded here. So now we can close Discord. 
And now in GIMP, we're going to hit File, Open as Layers. This is really important uh, because if you open it just by itself, it will open it as a new project. So open as layers so that way it'll go onto this project. So open as layers. And we're going to hit JNSA schooling. That one, we're going to select it. So you may have to do some digging around in your files to actually find where this ribbon is because GIMP is really not very good with being able to find like file paths. It's really, really strange. Okay, so as you can see, this ribbon has now added itself onto a new layer. And what we need to do is a couple of things. We need to move this ribbon up to where the horse's head is, and we need to scale it down so it's the proper size, and we need to transform it so that way it looks correct to the horse's face, and I will explain each of these as we go. So number one, make sure you left click on the ribbon layer right here, and we're going to hit this move tool here. So we are then going to left click and drag up to the horse's face approximately to the area that we want it. Now, obviously, this is much too large, right? Because a ribbon will never cover the horse's face like this. So we need to hit the transform tool. So this transform tool um, has a bunch of sub tools within it. So right now it's currently on the scale tool. So for scale, I'm gonna left click on the image and you see these handles come up on the side. I am going to drag one of the lower corners until it gets smaller and smaller. And then this middle portion here, if I, uh, I'm going to control and scroll up with my mouse so you can see better. Okay, now I'm gonna click this middle handle here and I'm gonna drag that right there. Okay, so let's make this perhaps a little smaller. Drag again. And we're gonna zoom out just to kinda make sure it looks okay. Yeah, I think that's the size we're looking for. So let's hit scale because we can always fix this again. Okay, that looks to be about the size that I'm looking for. So now if we look closely, you'll notice that the horse's face is kind of facing like this way, right? Kind of at an angle kind of that way, but the ribbon is facing flat. Ooh, that was a terrible line, but I think you understand what I mean. So we need to kind of wrap this around the face, not wrap, but transform it so that it's angled with the same direction that the horse's face is going. So we're gonna use the same transform tool. By the way, this GIMP layout might be slightly different than what you have if you download this program, which is 100% free. So I'm gonna left click and hold until I can scroll myself to 3D transform. Now, make sure I click my ribbon layer, left click on the ribbon itself, and then I'm going to left click and drag this way to my right. And you notice that it rotates along this way. If you rotate up and down, it's going to rotate like that. Um, and then rotating kind of diagonally, we'll do the same thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to reset it and then transform it to the left. If you go too far like that, it'll be very obvious. So try to look carefully at how much your horse's face is turned. Um, if your face is, horse's face is turned. If your horse's face is completely to the side, you don't even need to worry about this transforming stuff. You could just be done with the scaling and the moving. Uh, but yeah, so I usually like to have it transformed like this just to add a little bit of interest. So let's hit transform. It looks like it's done. Let's zoom out. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna zoom in one more time just to kind of show you one more thing I like to do. So let's click on this um, ribbon layer once again, but this time we're gonna also right click and we're gonna hit edit layer attributes. Then go down here to opacity and bring this slider bar like halfway between, it doesn't really matter where. So now you can see where the, I believe this is called the, uh, the brow band. And then this is the crown piece. You see where they intersect. So I like to have the ribbon, the middle of the ribbon, kind of be really close to this intersection. Uh, but I also want to be careful about overlapping the horse's ear. So I think what I need to do is go over here and 
uh, not use the move tool, sorry, I'm going to use the scale tool. I'm going to make the ribbon just a little bit smaller, teeny tiny bit. And then I'm going to move it again so that way this black middle part of the ribbon uh, again meets up with the middle portion here of the bridle. Okay, so let's put this back. That's what I like to do. Um, I don't really like to mess too much with the edges. I know it doesn't look quite realistic where, um, if you notice where the ear is with the ribbon, it kind of looks weird. Um, but again, I don't really like to mess too much with that. I just like to, you know, keep it simple. So um, I'm actually going to now right click on this layer again. Oops, I think I copied the layer by accident. There we go. So right click, edit layer attributes, opacity, bring that back up to 100%. Click OK, zoom out of the picture, and there we go. All right, everyone, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you in the competition arenas in the near future. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.